I'm Byron Schwab from Big Panda. Welcome to the Getting Started with Normalization and Enrichment video. Today, we are going to focus on one powerful technique for normalizing and enriching alerts called custom tags. In this video, we are going to dive into what custom tags are, why they matter, and how they help you and your team. We will then step through the process of making the two different versions of tags that can be created in Big Panda. In Big Panda, normalization is the translating of payloads from different systems into a consistent data model. This is done by the integration layer and or using custom tags. Enrichment is a process of adding new information to alerts to make them richer. For example, topology information, run book links, metadata, etc. This is done using mapping enrichments, out of the box topology integrations, and or custom tags. The value of enrichments becomes overwhelmingly apparent when considering the additional context they provide to operators in resolving incidents faster and also to Big Panda's open box machine learning in correlating alerts into high level insight rich incidents. There are two types of custom tags that can be created in Big Panda. The first one is called an extraction tag. Let's take a look at what it is and how we create it. Often there is data inside of a value or a key that needs to be extracted. For example, a host name will often be comprised of important metadata. In this example, the host name is comprised of the service, node, cluster, data center, and domain. With custom tags, we extract each of these data points into their own tag. Now that we know what it is, let's go create one. To access custom tags in the Big Panda platform, click on the cogwheel in the upper right hand corner and select custom tags. There are seven steps to this process. Click on new tag, select extraction tag, give the tag a name. We're going to call this tag cluster, select the source system. Here we can select a specific source system, which means that the pattern will apply only to a specific source, such as Nagios or New Relic. Or we can select all systems, which means this tag will apply to all alerts from all source types. Select the source tag. Data is normalized into key value pairs for every alert. Big Panda calls the key a tag. Here we want to select the tag from which the custom tag value is extracted. For this example, we want to select host, extraction regex. This is the field that provides the power to extract the data that is needed for the new tag. I will now type in the regex we will use. If you aren't familiar or want to learn more about using regex, you can always use regex101.com. The extraction tag will take the first regex group and use that as the tag value. Notice that on the right, you can preview the results of your selections and regex. This falls in line with Big Panda's ease of use, open box, and transparency concepts. You can preview and test what you are creating before it takes effect on your platform. Also notice that if a tag value doesn't match the pattern, an alert will not be enriched with the custom tag. The last step is applying a query filter, an important aspect in Big Panda. These are used throughout other parts of the product, such as unified search and correlation patterns. They are where we can become very granular in our selection. A quick help is available when focusing on the query filter input, as well as examples on how to use the Big Panda query language. In this example, perhaps the extraction we are creating only applies to a limited set of data where the host name ends in .com. We can ensure that only .com hosts are selected by either using Big Panda query language or using a regex. In our example, let's not use a filter. If the custom tag is not ready for prime time yet, you can save it as inactive and activate it later. However, if you're ready to deploy it into production, simply save the tag with the checkbox unchecked. We are ready to use this tag, so let's just select Create Tag. We were able to test what we created before we implemented it, but let's take a peek inside the Operations Console to double check. Here's an existing alert for our native payload. 
As you can see, it does not have our tag. This also answers one of the questions which is often asked, what about the past? Any new event arriving in the system will be manipulated based on the tag. But since Big Panda's pipeline is architected as a streaming system, historical alerts are not affected. That is why this alert from before we created our custom tag has not changed. But now when a new alert comes in, we can see the cluster tag is in it. Another question that is often asked is, can we extract multiple tags from the same value? The answer is, of course we can. Because we used a detail regex when we created the cluster tag, we can now quickly make a second tag for data center. To do so, we can duplicate the cluster tag, rename it to data center, move the parentheses to the appropriate spot, preview our change on the right, click create tag, and now we have also captured the tag data center from the host tag. Once again, when a new alert comes in, the data center tag is now in it. Up to this point, we have focused on the first type of custom tag, extraction tags. We are now going to use our extraction tag to create a second type. A composition tag. Composition tags are based on existing tag values and additional information. For example, we can take the base URL of our wiki, combine it with added values from the native payload and or extraction tags, in this case the cluster and the check, and build a runbook URL tag. Now let's go create a composition tag. There are six steps to this process. Click new tag, Give the tag a name. We will be creating a runbook tag. Select composition tag. Select the source system. Once again, this is where we can select a source type, a specific integration, or all systems. Fill in the composition template. This is the field that provides the power to create and combine data that is needed for the new tag. Here we will use a format for building the tag from other existing tag values and additional information. You can use any tag as a variable in the format of dollar sign, curly brace, tag name, and then close it out with a curly brace as well, as I'm doing here. Create your query filter. Once again, this is where we can become very granular in our selection. We reviewed this when we created the extraction tag. Again, we can test what we created with Big Panda's preview section. Now, let's take a look inside the operations console and double check. Here's a previous alert with our native payload that also includes both extraction tags we created. When a new alert comes in, not only are the cluster and data center in it, but also the new composition tag, the runbook URL. Also note that Big Panda automatically turns tags that start with HTTP into links. These tags can be viewed in the tags pop-up like any other tag, but you can also see them in the links pop-up. To summarize, here are some of the common ways in which custom tags are used. Extraction from fully qualified domain names, extraction from naming conventions, composition of links to runbooks, renaming tags for consistency, categorizing events by type. Now that we have created our tags, let's talk about how to manage them. Each tag you created can be edited, duplicated as we showed before, temporarily disabled, or permanently deleted. You can filter the list of tags by entering a search term in the field above the list, or by using predefined filtering by tag name, source, type, or status. Now that you're familiar with the custom tags and regexes and how they help to normalize and enrich data, continue to the next videos to dive deeper into additional topics. We want you to be successful in your Big Panda journey. So if at any point you need help, please reach out to our support team via the in-app chat. And don't forget about our online documentation at docs.bigpanda.io. Thanks for watching.